Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new let's play of Going Medieval. This is a colony building simulator and it resembles something like Stoneheart but much more in in, uh, in terms of mechanics I would say something like RimWorld. It's, it's basically RimWorld in uh, medieval time in 3D actually. And right now it's not even close to the complexity of Rimworn, but but it has amazing potential and it is quite a beautiful game. So let us start a new game. We're gonna go on survival. We are going to go with a little bit. You know what? Let's go. Uh, let's go hard. Let's go hard and ruthless. Right. <clears throat> Next, we are going to, let's see here, we're going to do the regular one, yep, a new lifestyle, we're going to begin with that in mind, oh, 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 we're going a little bit fast, so we have a valley, a mountain, or a hillside, valley is basically a more or less flat plain, the mountain is obviously mountainish, and the hill is in between with mountains and hills. And mountains and hills? I'm sorry. <laughs> mountains and valleys. And we're going to pick this one. And we are going to keep that as default. So this is the new. Let's do a random. Ooh, yeah. mm. Hmm, no, yes, yeah, why not? This looks amazing. And our settlement name will be Leipzig. Yeah, a real, true German name. That sounds amazing. <laughs> right, okay, let's continue, shall we? We have three colonists for beginning and we would need I would say what would be the first thing that you need a what a decent constructor a botanist and someone who's relatively okay at fighting uh, so let's see what we have here Jacquemina is, there we go, much better, is a somewhat, oh yeah, an intellectual, hmm, I might go with her because she has 12 marksmanship, so I can use a longbow, you need a 9 a marksmanship, I believe, and other than that, She's relatively okay. Animal husbandry or handling. I haven't dealt with that at the moment. I don't think it's implemented, so I'll have to see. But that's... she's okay. Nothing too crazy, but she will have to. And she is also a outgoing. So uh, mood target plus five and mood change speed minus five. That's amazing and wise. Oh my god. Hmm, that's actually quite good. She will get even more experience in culinary and botany, which is quite nice to have. Right, Ma Mabila, Mabile, these names, man. There we go, much better. <laughs> right, what do we have here? So we have a carpenter, which is uh, okay. A smith, ooh, a carpenter smith. Hmm, that's interesting to have. She's dumb as a pack of bricks. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Melee marksmanship. Meh. It is what it is. And, I mean, construction of six. Botany of nine. That's also nice. Yeah. Why not? Why not? What do we have here, though? She is benevolent. Right. So she makes everybody happy. And she is chilly. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. 
All right, so she must keep a little bit warm. Right, 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 right. Oh my, look at this. We have a melee fighter here with smithing and botany also, so that's okay. Construction is fine with that. Intellect we don't need because we have Marium here. Marium, Marium, whatever. Right, she seems okay. Movement speed, global work speed, that's... A, I don't know about that. Let's... oops. Animal, botany, nope. Melee of one, though. Intellect of 22, that's somewhat okay, but no. I don't care about their intellect. What is this? Erudite, oh. Oh my. Right, smithing, you're not that impressive. No, you have a melee of 14, though. You're a miner. And speechcraft. I haven't seen any bargaining just yet. Right. You seem somewhat okay, and your religion is a, a zealot. An oak brethren zealot. Right. Fantastic. You have also oak brethren, and you're not. You're a practitioner. Oh, you're a devout restitutionist, I'm a restitutionist zealot, and yes, and you're, and you're the old predator. Right. That seems fairly okay. Let's go into it. Right, everything's okay. Show tutorial tips. Do I want to? I do not want to. Right, I'll see you in the game, guys. Okay, so... The whole story of this whole game is that the plague has ravaged a lot of the Brit British Isles, so everything happened in the UK, and we have basically have to build everything back up again. And that's what we're gonna do. So here we are. As you can see, they have standard Rimworld allowance and things like that around. We can chop some wood, we can uh, mine some clay, that, that'll be a little bit later on. Limestone and everything like that, since it is a voxel, so you can... Uh, I'm pressing F1 there. Build walls. And then build on top, and then go on top, and then, and then, and then, etc, etc. We will have these kind of fortresses <laughs> ready to go, but later on. Now we have to do a humble village. And this seems like a perfect valley to be in, right? Correct? Am I correct? That's beautiful. A flat, nice plain that we can build our main... We have some coal over here. Our main base. Right. So, let's start with some hovels, that's what I call them, small little places. Actually, let's start with the main storehouse, which I'll put it in the middle, so we can then build outwards and have, oh, we have iron over here already. Oh no, that's salt, really? Huh. Looks like I don't. Anyway, let's build our main storehouse. The um, as a side note, side note, you will have a building like that, right? So let's say this is a wall, and you want to build outwards from it. You have your uh, wooden floors, right? This wall here would be. Number four in um, stability, that's what it's called. And every single tile that goes outward from the main wall, from the main base, let's say, gets stability four minus one. So you'll have stability four here, three, two, one, and can never go to zero. There you go. You have one, two, three. That's the maximum that you can go outside in and then place whatever you want on top of it. We're not going to do that just now because we will need to have a lot of wood. 
that we don't have for now. And this will be our main stock room. So let's get a... How much was the maximum we can do with uh, roofing? So we have one, two, three, and then one, two, three, right? Correct, that's correct, one, two, three. Actually, I can do one more. Can do one more, I believe. Right, 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 right. All right, we are gonna cancel these two over here. Hello, there we go. Right. So this should work in putting a roof over, right? If we rotate that, perfect. So it goes up to how much, how big would be the roof? 12 by 21. Okay, good to know. This will be our main, uh, our main storage area. Quite a big storage area that we will need. Let's start chopping some wood from here and here, right? And then we will add, for now, we're not going to put any flooring because it costs a lot of wood. Main general storage area. Perfect with house, with uh, a roof and everything like that. So let's, uh, let's go and let them uh, do their stuff and we're going to go to jobs as in rimworld it is basically the same thing we are going to put everybody on five this is how i like to do things everybody goes on five and then i'll assign them a much needed Re, um, rethinking of it. What do we need now? The molds. That'll be construction. Or just like that. And the next thing would be cutting plants. Right. That'll be our main things to do at the moment. We got schedule over here. We're going to put them malay leisure and then. How I, I like to do this in RimWorld as well. Leisure at the beginning and leisure at the end. Whenever they catch uh, the amount that they need. And sometimes I like to add something in the middle. Something like that. So they uh, if they have a problem in between and they didn't, didn't get anything from middle or... Not from, from start or uh, late... They have to go to sleep earlier for some reason or another. They can then um, get some uh, leisure in the middle of the day. Right, so that'll be your job uh, prior prioritization. And um, also who's good at what. So you have here. Although I would... I think this system goes decent it's it, it it works so uh, what i'm talking about is seeing the actual numbers but the highlights of who's good at something is relatively okay right that was the schedule nothing too complex here the same thing as remord you got your um work time sleep time anytime and then leisure time and then you have your regions here and from what i can what i do understand about it for the moment there's nothing there's no trading to be done nothing of the sorts or nothing that i've seen that they've implemented for now but we'll uh, we'll see we'll see what they'll do later on right so this is done we would need to bring them inside i will say you know what let's do some holding and then everybody's doing hauling we're gonna put them in here so we don't get our weapons decaying or anything like that not enough beds food reserve stocks are low i know 
let's allow this. Right, everybody's doing hauling. Cool. Let's go into management. This tab is, again, a lot of things will be very similar to Rimworld. So, uh, yeah, I'm afraid I have to uh, associate most of things with Rimworld because, well, all in all, it's it's quite good. This system is quite good. So you have your drafting over here. You have your stances. So if they're going to be aggressive or they're going to run away whenever they're undrafted. Your weapons of choice or so whatever they, they deem or, or you deem. Um, two handers range etc etc and then you can edit what what you'd like exactly on the weapons which is amazing again your shields your the shield aspect we don't have that in rim mode because it's not a medieval type style so uh yeah it could be medieval but it it isn't Headgear, apparels, and apparels are good when you do winter and summer especially, so you won't starve to death, uh, not starve, but freeze to death or um, get heat strokes. Armor, manage food, so what what can they eat, what cannot, and, and stimulus, stimulants, which is a very interesting, let's put some pause on this, it's a very interesting uh, name to have. Stimulants. <laughs> uh, this will be your alcohol consumption. For now. <laughs> Who knows what the tomorrow may bring. And you will have here on the character sheet, you have your biography. So the background is a shrewd armorer, which is quite nice because we have some um, bonuses in that. The age, the height, the weight, religion, and perks. Then you have your inventory, which you will do different kind of weapons. And then the stats, I believe, on, yeah, body armor, their efficiency with them, and so on and so forth. Right, and then you have your actual skills, everything that you need to know, and pops up, and everything like that. This will be your attributes. So, mood, motor. I haven't paid too much attention on that motor function really that is interesting <laughs> clumsiness really huh job related and things like that your stats so your food stats sleep religious activity entertainment <clears throat> uh, stimulants <laughs> right the mood, all in all, it's good for now because we have that initial optimism. And then you have your health. How much blood do you lose? How conscious you are? Hit points in total, stomach, and pain. Right. Okie dokie. Now that's done and out of the way. Let's build our main settlement. Well, settlement is a big word our main hovels <laughs> and we will usually I like to keep a two uh, two road to um, square and then um, extra on the side so we can uh, devise the buildings much better we're gonna do a four four by four mm -hmm. shall we so you have your bed, right? Your bed. Bam. And then I'm gonna close that in. It is absolutely crammed in there, but as you know, you oh my god, that's too much. <laughs> it's that's very small. I I know that's a little bit too much. Come on, man. <laughs> a little bit more. All right, so really five by five. Nope, I did not want to do that. Five by five, okay? Five by five. One, two, three, four, five. Right, 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 right. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
And done. We're gonna remove that. Right, and we are going to add a door. Another beautiful thing about this is you can actually add two doors and it makes a nice big double door. But we don't need that for the hovels. God, hovels sound so horrible. But I love it. Hovels. <laughs> and then we can build something like that pl plus a... A wooden torch for lighting. At the moment, there doesn't seem to be... Well, a wooden wall torch. Let's uh, do that instead. It uh, doesn't seem to be any benefit of having lightning in a room. And only, only heat-wise. So you'll have, as you can see here on top, you have your outdoors temperature. And um, that's the only thing that changes for now. There's no benefit in having light, so they won't work any better or worse, for that matter. Nothing that I can see. And uh, yeah, we'll have to see later on if they implement something else than uh, just uh, just light lighting effect or um, heat heating. So you have one, two, three, four. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Here's another one, and here's another one. I'm gonna have a door over here and a door over here. And why not? We're gonna have some. What is this? Grated door? No. We're going to have some windows, like Windows 10. Ha ha, ha 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 so funny. <laughs> right, and let's add some wall. To what is that? Can place it. Come on now. There we go. There we go. Can place it. We're gonna have a talk with you afterwards. And right and right, 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 right. Let's uh, add some flooring also. I love me some flooring. Right, and then we are going to add a big thatched roof over them. Perfect. It looks amazing, right? Everybody's agreeing with me on that. It looks fantastic. It's like the best thing ever. Right, I'm. Uh, let's just say I'm not a great uh, landscaper <laughs> or construction or visionary or anything like that let's just uh let's go with that shall we right in the meantime another nice addition to the game for now is rooms so every room can be made in a specific type of room so you'll have your spare room that's a basic room that doesn't have any particular workshops or um, beds or anything like that Nothing too impressive. The Great Hall, which we'll build it tomorrow. And uh, that will give you a mood bonus for now. From what I could see, there's nothing else extra that you'll get. What are we doing here? Oh, right. Right, right, right. Need some more hay. Okay, hay. Right. So that's that's that. Let, let them do whatever. Right. You have your shared uh, bedroom, which... We won't do that because um, what is going on here? Right. Anyway, your share bedroom. That's if you have obviously a shared bedroom. <laughs> your standard bedroom. Also, I, I think it gives either a mood bonus or does it say? Yeah, enjoy peace and quiet. I believe it's it's just a mood bonus for now. There's no other benefits that I could see. Then you have the religious aspect, so uh, an oak tree bedroom, and you can see here must have etc. etc. So your shrine and then some extra decoration, and also with the church or restitute. A library, which we'll need later on to do some research. We'll get to that later on. 
uh, workshops, everything from armoring to bow makers and things like that. And last but not least is the kitchen, which we'll have. As you can see, bedrooms are made. Let me just remove, remove that. There you go. This is a bedroom. I believe it states down there also in the left. No, it does not. Meal preparation missing. Yes, I know. Thank you for that. Right. Okay. Let's remove that and start doing some... If I have wood. Do I have wood? I have a pitiful, pitiful amount of wood. So let's change that situation and get a lot more. Later on, we'll have farms of wood, of wood, <laughs> of trees, that produces wood. So that will be a great addition. But for now, we have to do some deforestation, shall we say. Right. What else? What else? What else? We will need... I, I believe I'm going to have this area as farmland. This area is a construction area. And I'll put the kitchen. I'll put the kitchen over here. Right. I'll put the great hall over here. Should I integrate the kitchen with the great hall? Hmm. Right. Let me think about that. Let's. Let's do that. Let's do the Great Hall. And do I have the beam? Graves, no. Do I not have a beam? Huh. It might be in the research tab later on. There's a specific uh, construction type that's a beam that can hold a rooftop even though there's no pillars but our main great hall which is going to be great haha will be quite big so i want this ginormous structure to be quite impressive and it will have like two Pillars instead of once so it'll be one room, one big room, great hall, mm -hmm. right? And it will be over here, farm area over there, like over here, something like that. And we will do one, one, two, one. There we go, right here. So we'll have something like this, a two storage uh, building. And we will, so it'll be one, two, three, right? No, actually three. There you go, one, two, three. And then we will need, let me think about this. Uh, and then we'll go one, two, one, two, three, right? It'll be one, two, three. And then from here, one, two, three. Right. But we will need to... Because I want to be... So in the middle here, I want to have like big pillars or representative of big pillars to give the impression of a big hole. Right. So you will have... An additional one, two, three, and one, two, three. Shall we do that? So an additional uh, layer. So that's what. Not. I didn't want to do that. Uh, something like that. And then you have sixteen over here. No. How many do I have here? And um, yeah, that's sixteen. Right. Me, there we go. There we go, and there we go. This will be the great hall. We should 
theoretically speaking, be able to do something like this. I don't want to do that. Not you. All right, something like that and something like the one that that should be enough. Actually, no. Wait a minute. What am I? What am I doing? Oh my god, this is horrible. Right, so it'll be. <clears throat> Would that be diagonally also? I'm not sure. Be one, two, three. So like one, two, three, and then nothing here, right? And only one, two, three, right? That should work. And then you have one, two, three over there, over here. And we go one, two, three, right? Right, right, right. Something like that. And one, two, three, and then one, two, three, almost. There we go. That should work. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and this will be one, two, three, one, two. Right. One, two, three, two, over here. God damn it. <laughs> ah, making myself look like a fool. That's fine. That's fine. All right, so we need one, two, three, one, two, three. Right. One, two, three, one, two, three. Right. This is almost excellent. And then we'll have a, a big door over here. We're going to have a big door over there. It'll be a grand hall. And can I do a thatch roof? Or am I going to regret what I've just did right now? I, I am going to regret that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's it's fine. Everything's fine. I'll figure something out. I know what I'm gonna do. Almost. Possibly. Not really. Anywho, I'm gonna raise raid, raid words, raise this one up and then do like small little areas on the side. It it'll be grand, don't you worry. Right, so you have two structures over there, two structures, two doors over there, and we're gonna put one, two, one, two on the side. It won't be symmetrical. Just a little bit off. And how much would the four floor cost me? Only 384 wood? Hmm. Right. How about this? 384 sticks. Hmm. Um, I'm going to think about that. Right, so that's that's the main structure that we're going to have for today. And then later on we're going to have a cooking area somewhere over here. Like a kitchen. And we're going to have a uh, small pantry or a root cellar, as you might think. That'll be an interesting little project here because we can dig down in the earth. Right. Um, other than that, yeah, that, that should be for the whole day. Well, as I can see here, we are done for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you like what you see here. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. Subscribe.